Fred, I know you hate me. I know that you've got so much hatred in yourself for me. And I also know that I'm the last person you want to see right now. But goodness, it will mean the world to me if you can just put aside that hatred and hear me out, please. What is it? Things are not the way they seem. Oh. Andy. Why not? Tell me. I didn't know. Why don't you elucidate? Throw more light on. Say something that will blow my mind. Fred, I was deceived. Majid deceived me. He spun a web of lies together, thereby distorting the truth away from me. God, I was so confused. I didn't know what else to believe. Okay. So you chose to believe the comfortable truth. The truth that will make your life easier, isn't it? I figured. After my truth, my time, there was nothing for you, was it? I gave you everything. My love. My heart. I even spat on the faces of the family that gave my family and I everything we had. And in the process, bring in untold ruins to us. And what did you do? The first carry trouble. You jumped. Jumped. To where? Into the arms of another man. I'm sorry. And guess who that man was? My best friend. Please, Fred. What are you pleading for? Tell me, forgiveness? Forgiveness? Or your evilness? Tell me, I made you walk again. I took you out of that chair. And just with one stroke of your arm, you took it all away. Our baby, my blood. How hard this could you be? Now I understand why the good Lord left you in that chair for so long. Stop this! Fred, I can't take this anymore, okay? Then leave with your pathetic self out of here now, or I'll kick you back to where you belong, and that is the city morgue. Leave now! Please. 